I was doing the whole Rob Matrix thing. It was just gotten gotten stale. I had to I had to comb my hair and, and dress up like a dickhead, you know, to get noticed again. You know, it, it was it's true. I I I put a cigarette in my mouth and I went to a fancy dress and stick my hair back and my head tied up and I'm like, oh, fuck, I, I look like a real fifties fuckwit. And, I, and and it was the attention that you get is like, oh wow, like and they're going. You know, and I showed Luke one time. I said, can I do this character, please? I don't want to do this fucking Rob Matrix shit anymore. He goes, yeah, you know, he was, but he was sold when he saw the picture. You know, I showed him a picture of me at a fancy dress. He goes, yeah, I can do that. And then, boom, it, it, it was so much easier. And then it made it even better when Dave, you know, jumped on board because he was already Mr. Saturday Night. So he had the, the well, it was meant to be white. It all over, wasn't it? A white jacket. Yeah, yeah, white suit. And, yeah, it, yeah. It started out white. So <laughs> uh, yeah. So like, and like, well, my my point is, you know, you need to build resilience, and you need to keep on trying. You know what I mean? Now, now, now it's cool. Now it's great. Now I've got people wanting to work with me again. It it, it got to a stage where I'm there going, fuck, doesn't anybody want to work with me? Did I do something wrong? Did I have a bad attitude? It wasn't that. It's like I wasn't there anymore. You know what I mean? So I had to restart again. Mm. So you always have to restart with everything. I think, who, who was it? Uh, you heard this term before. You know, uh, it's what you're worth. You know, a bottle of water, you know, costs, you know, $2 in a, a service station, $4 in a cinema, you know, 8 bucks in a bar or whatever it is, and at $12 in a hotel. So it's just depends on on your audience you know what i mean what you're worth type of deal so yeah i, I think um that's that's something that you know i hated that time i really did and it was dave we met up at the same at the right time because we were like at wit's end we, we don't want to fucking be around this business because it, it's just mm. like it's not doing anything for us and we're not enjoying ourselves and when we got together we just started having a good time we said fuck it let's just go have a good time tonight you know what i mean and we did you know? and, and you know what that that came through in the presentation of what we were doing, yeah. And and I think that's that's something people need to be well aware of. That they need to have a good time doing what they're doing. You, yeah, you'll enjoy it. People around you will notice. You know, you don't need to walk up to them and say, "Mate, I'm having a really good time." They'll just <laughs> see it. You know, like you it know. just it just uh, you know it just comes out of you that you're having a good time. The audience sees it. The promoter sees it. The boys they all enjoy it. You know. Um, yeah. and, and it makes you fun to be around. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And the thing is as well, like being on shows with you guys is like, it is always like a fun time. Like <clears throat> no matter what is going on, oh, like yeah. what, what, what fuck up is going on. You guys always sort of like hold court almost. And it's like, make sure that everyone's having a good time. There's always like jokes. There's always laugh around the shit gets done. The show gets done, but it's always like before and after the show is always a good time hanging with you two guys. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember going to TCW uh, one time, and uh, that was Dusty's Fed back in Atlanta. And I was just going in. I was about to have my first match and stuff like that. And the whole fucking locker room was quiet. And you know, you you, you had you had um, Dusty stand up, and he goes, "Fuck you, all a bunch of boring fucking assholes. Get the fuck up, enjoy yourselves here. Fucking hell, it's like a morgue." At a wrestling show, and you know what I mean. Like this is, this is stuff that was said. Like like back when like this, I was like going shit. Yeah, you know what? It's fucking boring in here. Why? You know, at, in backstage, I'm always good for a laugh. Always good for a chat. You know, and when you can get everybody's energy to 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 be happy and whatnot, they'll perform better. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've I've seen some stressful environments. Where, yeah, okay, they'll go out, then they'll do the job because, yeah, they're nervous. But did they perform at the best of their ability? I don't think they did. You know what I mean? I, I believe that they need those, they need that confidence. They need to be happy and they need to be, you know, you know encouraged when they go out there. You know, so yeah. you, you need a good vibe, but you know, you really do. And for all the young guys out there, you'll still be nervous, but that's, that's good energy. But at least you know? you'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm too old to get nervous. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> The body just doesn't react anymore, you know? <laughs>